the monitor isn't working. I'm going to try and get the spotlight steady while I'm digging for my binoculars. Use my teeth to open the zip. Yep, that's a nice jar. Sitting on a perch. Sorry for moving the light. I'm trying to hold my binoculars steady with one hand, holding the light steady with the other. Fortunately, I've got image stabilizer on my binoculars. Brag, brag. I wonder if they were going to come out with an image stabilizer on a on a spotlight. Good <laughs> <laughs> <Still like here. laughs> um, idea. We could probably tell its species by its broad white. I mean, there's so many white feathers in its tail. It's very hard to tell the difference between the various night jars. Just looking at their plumage, their wing plumage is you've got to be really close. Um, and their throat and, and head markings, especially at this distance. Um, very easy once you've got wings spread open and tail spread open, but that only comes in handy when you have a, an expired specimen. Or I know that sounds very scientific, but occasionally, sadly, we do find night jars that have been knocked by cars driving too fast at night all over South Africa, not in game reserves, but in national roads. And I have to say one thing about night jars, that they have the softest feathers of any bird that I've ever felt. And they are, they, 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 they're what the dictionary would, if, you, if there was a, a picture or a, a tactile thing next to the word soft in a dictionary, it would be the feathers of a night jar. Night jars are called whippoorwills in the States, and they're kind of a species there that the words to its call have been described as calling whippoorwill, whippoorwill, which is very similar to, I guess, uh, some of our night jar calls. If this is a fiery necked night jar, which is one of our most common species here, the words to the fiery necked night jar is, Good Lord, deliver us. Good Lord, deliver us. Something like that.